And tonight, months of tension over Roanoke City school bus delays and problems. All is coming to a head. Right now, bus drivers are voting on unionizing. 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett breaks down the vote and what it means for parents. Bus drivers and aides for Durham School Services in Roanoke City are voting Tuesday night whether or not to join the Amalgamated Transit Union, or ATU, after months of staffing, bus route, and pay issues. Employees first approached the union in the fall. ATU Organizing Director Chris Townsend wouldn't say exactly how many workers expressed interest, but he's optimistic that the group will vote to join. We customarily, as a union, we don't go to the National Labor Relations Board for an election unless we have a significant majority. Townsend says Durham has been campaigning against the union, a legal right given to companies. Durham tells 10 News, we believe that employees are entitled to make their own informed decision regarding union representation in a free and fair secret ballot election. If our employees in Roanoke choose to be represented, we will work with the union as we do with our other represented locations across North America. In response to the busing problems in Roanoke, Durham hired a new general manager, increased bonuses for drivers, and added a new bus tracking app. The Roanoke City School District tells 10 News, the district is pleased with the progress. We will continue to work with Durham to address issues. As for the union piece, the district doesn't have an opinion because officials say it couldn't impact bus service for students. After the 230 employees vote, either the union or Durham can file an appeal. If workers vote to join the union, the collective bargaining process begins, where the ATU would work with Durham to agree on wages and benefits. In Roanoke, Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you. That vote should wrap up around 6.30 and we should know their decision by 7.